Hello, my dear Aquarius, how I have missed reading for you. <laughs> I am so happy to be here again with you guys today to deliver a message the Spirit wants you to know. We already got cards popping out. I have cleansed the decks and we are ready to dive into a current situation that is going on in your life that you need a little assistance with, a little advice about. Think of me as like your online bestie, your friend. We're here to work things out together. Wow, I'm looking at these cards popping out, Aquarius. So <laughs> just want to let you guys know, I am a, a personal reading tarot reader as well. So I do have personal readings listed in my bio, as well as the ability to get connected on Instagram. The link is there for you where we have a little bit more of a close knit community than I feel like my YouTube is so far. You know, we can get connected, send messages, the whole nine. Um, but anywho, Aquarius, let's dive into your reading for today. Starting with your current situation, what is it that Aquarius is dealing with right now? We've got three cards that popped. You have the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. Where in the world, literally, where in the world are you moving right now? And where is there maybe a little bit of resistance? You are trying to work on that pentacle energy. Maybe you're looking to buy a house or looking to plant roots somewhere else. Um, and I see you eyeing that. So what's the challenge right now for, I'm going to take that one, for Aquarius in regard to this new adventure <laughs> they are waiting to start? We will basically shuffle all the cards just for those of you who are new here. I have timestamps listed below for you guys and you can go ahead and go throughout the reading and basically figure out, um, you know, if you want to see the tarot shuffle, if you want to do the tarot reading, or if you want to just dive into the Oracle as well. Your challenge is the magician. So a little bit of your manifestation ability might be challenging you at this time because maybe you're worried about how long it's taking for those manifestations to come in. Maybe there's a little bit of lack or worry associated with how you're manifesting that might be preventing you from getting what you want as quickly as you would want. Strengths for Aquarius. We have the Four of Cups. I believe you are showing up as someone who is ready to have a perspective change, ready to see things in a new way, in a new direction. All right. Area of focus for my dear Aquarius. What is it that they're focusing on? The judgment. So you might be looking into a higher calling where you feel called to go somewhere or something in your life that is actually calling you to take advantage of this new opportunity. Um, Knight of Pentacles, again, not to jump into the reading early, but is an opportunity or something that you're working towards. So I feel like there is a judgment call on your life, Aquarius, where you are actually having to decide whether or not you want to actually move in a new direction towards something that is more of a calling in your life. Near future for Aquarius. Six of Cups. Soulmate energy. Past life. Focusing on the gifts that God is giving you. Being around other people that you love. Could also be a focus on children or siblings. Uh, friendships. So we'll definitely clarify. But it's a sweet offer. A sweet message. A sweet token from Spirit. If we have that Six of Cups. Recent past for Aquarius. King of Cups. I love this. You have been working on your mental an emotional stability. So you're sitting in this place of, I feel like divine understanding of where you are. You're not really um, being rocked and swayed by a lot of the things going on in your life. You're taking things very 
I want to say must like maturely, responsibly, you're doing what you need to do. You're also honoring your, your heart. Like you're doing all the right things. Advice for my dear Aquarius. All right. I'm going to have to kind of cover up the star card because she's naked, but we have the star card, the death card, the temperance card for advice. So all major arcana. <laughs> so there is a, there's a little something, something that spirit wants you to focus on releasing and allowing your angels, your spirit guides to balance this out for you. Even though I believe that you believe it, I feel like there's still a stretch. They want you to stretch a little bit. All right. Your environment, we have the hanged man. Again, a lot of perspective, perspective changes, perspectives um, beginning to transform, looking at things in a new way, pausing to evaluate how far you've come. So I feel like you might be in a state of like, okay, we're getting ready to go into the springtime. Let's like remember where we came from, focus on the, the trials and tribulations that got us here. Hopes and fears for Aquarius. The Five of Cups wanted to pop. Page of Swords. Okay. We got a couple cards. Page of Swords. The Nine of Wands, the World card, which I have to kind of keep covered up because she's naked, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Interesting. I'll just say that. We're not going to dive too deep yet, but there's a chapter in your life that you need to close, Aquarius. Potential outcome. Wow, beautiful. It's a lot of cards. Three of pentacles, nine of pentacles, the king of wands, seven of wands. A lot of energy here for you. All right, let me fix this. And we will clarify anything that we need to Aquarius, but you're about to go through some major shifts here. Major shifts. Okay, so your current situation Right now, Aquarius, I feel like there is a new place in your life where you really want to explore, to go, to try. There is a new adventure that you're waiting to take off. It could be a financial opportunity, so it could be a new source of income, a new job, an endeavor that you know is going to take you some time to achieve. So you are actually looking at this situation like, where in this you know, world of mine that I live in would allow me to be able to actually accelerate the best, accelerate the fastest, do the most good. Where is there a lot of potential for me to succeed? And in doing so, what is it that I need to let go of that I might be holding on to that could be preventing me from getting there? The reason why I am saying that it's preventing you is because I see you looking at this opportunity. You're literally eyeing it so closely with this, this Knight of Pentacles. You are like, it's on the cusp. But because it's taking you a little bit out of your comfort zone, and because you have to work out some things, I see you also reevaluating where to next. So you could be saving for a home. You could be letting go of things within your life to make room for new things like a home. You could be starting to walk away potentially from a job that you're working at, trying to figure out where are there blocks and burdens that are preventing you from being your best and doing your best. With the Four of Pentacles, we have to think of someone who's like holding on for dear life because this is a place where you feel, feel stable. This is a situation in your life where you feel secure and letting go of these pentacles could potentially make you feel insecure, make you feel a little bit out of place or out of water. So there is this need for you to trust where you're being led. And that's what I definitely feel with that two of wands is there is a plan, a process, a pathway that's being 
open and it's, it's unfolding for you right now, Aquarius, but you have to trust the process, trust where you're being led and look around at your life and see where might there be certain things that you need to let go of, decrease. I'm actually going to be going into like hyper mode of like spring cleaning pretty soon. So maybe like just decluttering and getting rid of things that are like energetically holding you back from your prosperity, from your future. I'm going to go ahead and clarify the magician here for your challenge spirit. What about the magician is challenging Aquarius at this time? What about the magician? Okay. The six of wands. Ah, are you putting too much pressure on yourself to be successful at something. I feel this energy where you might be overdoing it, over pushing yourself, over like overzealous in a way where it's actually inhibiting you from the true creative that you are, from the true manifester that you are. There are some parts of your life that need to be balanced, I feel like, for the newness to come in. So where you're being challenged is this need and this drive for success and this manifestation that might be taking a while to come. Is there a way that you're not allowing it to come in where you're kind of like pushing the envelope a little bit? That's what I feel. So it's 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 not to say to not work hard, to not put your foot, you know, out there, you know, to dip your toe in the water and do something new. But could you also be putting too much pressure on yourself to like get this done really quickly? Because we know that Knight of Pentacles, we're moving slow. This is a slow and steady wins the race kind of uh, situation and you don't necessarily need to work fast. So again, like we're not here, but advice from spirit is temperance. So you're being told that you need to kind of allow life to balance itself out. You need to let situations become harmonic with each other. And as you're pouring into one cup, you can pour back into the other. Finding your, your balance, finding your homeostasis, where your body feels good, where your work-life balance is okay. And not just like, do, 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 do. <laughs> like, I just feel like there's a lot of like doing energy. Where's, you know, what's next energy? Um, this is a very interesting card to me for your strengths. The perspective of this person is usually that they're bored, they're tired, they don't necessarily like want what is being handed to them or they're not even paying attention to this. But I feel like how I'm looking at this, and I'm definitely going to clarify this card for you, but how I would look at this as a strength for you is that you are so busy being productive that you can't even see this opportunity that is coming at you from God, from spirit, right? That is going to allow this newness to come in because you're so focused on really getting to work and doing what makes you feel good and having a good time. Like the strength in that is that you are so dedicated to what you're already focusing on. And I, and I never read this card that way, but that's what I see right now is we're focused on these other three cups so that we're not even seeing the opportunity that is presenting itself. And it's kind of coming in a little sideways perspective that keeps coming up, like looking at the big picture, looking at stuff, focusing on things that maybe you have like zoomed out of like a little bit. Like, did you zoom out too much or are you too focused on one area of your life where you need to kind of zoom, zoom in? Yes. Okay. So when clarified, we have the the page of pentacles. So there is a message, a sweet, you know, a little, Hey, 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 things are, are kind of going to grow if you go in this direction. And I feel like spirit is coming at you in a, in a way that almost makes it appear that there's like this silence attached to it. So I want you to focus on maybe somewhere in your life where there's an opportunity that's unfolding, but you haven't really been paying attention to it like that. Like, where is there a little glimmer in your life? You're, not, you're like, you know what? If I just put a little more effort into that, maybe this is going to actually pop off and be the answer to my prayers because it's literally right there. 
this gift, this new beginning seems to be so close to you that you don't even see it because you are working so hard on other things that you're focused on. So allow those, um, you know, those sweet nothings to come in, allow those messages, allow those collaborations, those partnerships, things like that, because you're, you're ready. But the judgment card here, you're being asked to focus on what is working, focus on where you're being called and pay attention to where things aren't working. Where are you being intuitively led? What are you being called to do? And what is your soul asking you for at this time? There's a soul calling. There's a soul message that spirit is trying to dictate to you. See if you can um, kind of articulate what it is, the message that's trying to come through, that's, that's trying to guide you in a new direction. Because the, the energy that I'm feeling for you, and I'm going to clarify this judgment card, is it's not that you don't want to move forward and it's not that you're not putting in work. I just think you might be turning a little bit of a blind eye to something that's actually like really going to be lucrative or prosper, like prosperous for you, an opportunity that will help you change your life or go in a new direction, but you may not necessarily be focused on it. So this is why it came out in your area of focus. Listen to the call a little bit deeper. Maybe go into meditation. Something like that. Where you can actually hear spirit a little more clearly. All right, Tower. What is going to <laughs> come to a sudden end for you? I think there's an ending that has to happen around this eclipse probably. That is going to help you to see things a bit more clearly. And as you listen to this judgment call and as you go towards the flames of this tower moment, I hear all things that all things must fall apart so better things can come together. I think you've been afraid for something to fall apart. Let's get more clarity on that. Why the tower? Because you're you're not really sure how it would work itself out. Yeah, okay. So a lot of anxiety about this this manifestation, this new beginning. There is something very powerful on the other end of this situation. If you were to allow yourself to let this situation in, hear the judgment call, the anxiety that you're feeling, the pressure that you're under, the way that things have not been working out for you, I believe it will begin to work out for you. And this celebration, this four of wands, this, this manifestation energy, it will be able to come to fruition in a way that is a little bit easier for you to grasp, to hold. And I think the success of where you're trying to go and physically, emotionally, mentally getting there will become evident when you listen to that judgment call, releasing the things that are kind of holding you back, giving you anxiety, stressing you out. For a lot of you, I feel like there could be this energy of I hear the call. I know that God wants me to go in this direction, but the only thing that will get you there is for that tower moment to happen. But understand that tower moments are faded events. Major arcana is usually major, like a major emphasis in our life. So as that tower moment comes, embrace the changes, embrace the darkness so that you can see the light. All right, near future, we're going to clarify your six of cups and see what is it that spirit wants you to focus on as far as the six of cups goes. What about the six of cups spirit can we tell my dear Aquarius? Is there near future? <laughs> it is a beautiful omen of positivity, of love, receiving gifts, being with people that you care about. Strength, yes, beautiful. We're going to do one more. One more, please, for the six of cups for my dear Aquarius. All right, sun at the bottom, right? So you have the six of cups to the strength to the seven of uh, seven of swords. You've been in a lot of situations lately where you've had to strategize, I feel like around people who have not necessarily been doing right by you, doing doing right to you, 
there may have been cheaters, liars, scammers, people that just aren't being super upfront. And for a while, you've just had to stand in the gap, Aquarius, and be strong. Show up as the strength card. Show up day and night, still coming from a place of integrity, still coming from a place of love, and dealing with, I feel like, some someone with your eyes wide open. They thought that they could be a little bit more sly or slick, but you actually saw through this. And because you've remained true to yourself, spirit is bringing in better connections for you that feel more fulfilling, that will allow you to grow, that won't hurt you go behind your back where you don't have to always be so strong. There's an energy of healing, of closure, of mending the, the, the past as well. And that's coming up for you in the future. So when you let go of the negativity, when you let go of these past energies, um, because you stood up in this light in your past energy of the King of Cups, when you allow yourself to be in this energy of very self-assured, very emotionally stable, very true to your heart, you allow better things to come in. So I see you being someone who sat with yourself, who sat with your emotions. Maybe you journaled, you wrote about it, you manifested about it, and you said, Spirit, guide me, lead me, take me to wherever it is that will get me to the best possible outcome. And there was a lot of quiet reservation and bold understanding that all that was happening around you with these waves crashing, it was for your good. And you saw that. You sat in that. And I'm proud of you. There's there's no need to clarify this King of Cups. I feel like I understand him very well. All right. With your advice. So you have the Temperance card here, which is letting me know that your spirit guides want you to allow them to work it out. They are here to help you. They are here to be the great equalizer. They are here to be the balancer in your life. Two, 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 as I look at the clock right now. The energy of this card is that there is a lot going on behind the scenes that you don't even see that's being taken care of for you. You are being divinely protected. You are being divinely cared for. Archangel Michael could also be a spirit guide of yours. Again, advice, death card. There is need for an ending. There is need for an ending for you, Aquarius. And this area of your life where you're trying to manifest more, where you're trying to manifest something into your life that gives you more joy, that gives you more pleasure, more prosperity, that foundation that you're looking for, that family unit, that inner child happiness or that physical child. There's an energy of you letting go of the past to bring in the new. And with the death card, there is rebirth. That's very scorpionic energy too, of having to go through this process to uncover and unveil what it is that spirit has for us. And what he has for us is the star card, beauty, healing, faith, progress, a lot of energy. This is you, Aquarius. The star card is you in the tarot. There is an energy of you kind of just having to see yourself for who you are unveiling yourself the star card is naked so she's blurred out right now but there's an energy of you just having to step into your power even when it's difficult even when it's hard even when you feel like the manifestations are not happening that they're not taking place because there's gifts from the universe that are trying to come in for you and i want you to remember who you are where you came from how you got here and the journey that you took to get to where you physically are today and the steps that it will take to get you to where you want to be. It's all a part of that star energy. You are a star. You probably have a lot of people that look up to you. You're a shining light in your family. You might be a physical like star online, someone who a lot of people gravitate to, who a lot of people know, who a lot of people listen to. Your healing and your strength right now is being kind and good to yourself as you go through this transition. Trust where you're being led. And with your environment being the hanged man, 
it's a very interesting environment for me because when I look at the hanged man I see a person in suspended animation someone who's had to kind of slow down take a breather step back reevaluate where you know where they're going where they came from spirit wants you to rest right now and although there is this desire for you to look forward to see what is coming next where will things go there is also this time for you to kind of embrace Okay, we're here. Airy season is upon us. Spring has sprung. There's a new day dawning. I want to go somewhere, but I need to also reflect on where I currently am and what I need to let go of to allow this new beginning to come in. You might also be trying to start something new, Aquarius, without actually having let go of those blocks that we were talking about so the manifestation doesn't have the ability to come in quite yet because the blocks are not cleared and it doesn't mean that god will not allow manifestations here if we don't clear the blocks but you just might not receive them the way that they're supposed to be received and we all go through that your hopes and fears are the five of pentacles the world card the Nine of Wands, and the Page of Swords. So starting off with the Page of Swords, you are devoted to advancement. This is the student. This is someone who's learning, someone who's quick-witted, who's smart, communicating with others. You're, you're really out there trying to figure out how to get to the next step, how to make these manifestations pop off, how to create the life of your dreams. And your hopes and fears are that you have the know and the wit and the, the determination to get there. But <laughs> you're tired. You're wounded. You've been going through a lot. Some things that people don't even know. And you just continue to show up though. In your strength card, right? In your strength card energy, you just continue to show up. Continue to be who you are. Continue to love. Continue to give of yourself. But there's this need for you to kind of take a little bit of a time out, a little bit of a breather, reevaluate how you're approaching your manifestations and see that you are approaching them in a way that can allow them to come in where you can let go of that four of pentacles, the whatever is holding you back, where you can allow more in by releasing what's old. Uh, five of pentacles. We'll talk about that before the world card. You may have felt left in the dark, abandoned. Some of you are dealing with financial issues and you're trying to manifest better finances. Some of you are just not feeling like you're in the place that you had imagined for your life and there's a need for you to heal and get through this. With that star card energy, I know that you can and I know that you will. But understanding that there is st still somewhat of this fear of lack, maybe we need to work a little bit on our prosperity, um, mindset and move into an energy of, I know that I can get through this. I'm letting go of this mentality so that I can walk past all the issues that I've been through. I'm strong enough and end this chapter. So we have the world card. You've been asked to end a chapter multiple times in this reading with the judgment card calling you for something new the tower card saying something's ending the death card literally saying the death to the old and the world card literally telling you that there is a chapter of your life that is unfolding for some of you the world card could mean that we're actually physically traveling moving somewhere for others of you this is could mean that we are moving into the internet phase of our our business or your communications are becoming more global right? So you're focusing on other areas, other sources, other places, and you're closing chapters <laughs> potentially with people who are from abroad. You're might be going abroad, but there's a completion now as we're moving into this eclipse season for you. So I get it. Your hopes and fears are just like, how how will all of these things wrap up? What, where will I go? How do I attain and, and successfully manifest my desires? You know, like I'm doing the work, but we got to let go. Okay. Our, sorry, got cut off. Our last bit here is your um, potential outcome. So seven of wands, 
King of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. So I see you being a go-getter, a fighter, someone who's not going to give up, someone who is determined to reach their goals, their dreams. You have these desires for your life where you will be abundant, have plenty, be more autonomous of yourself, move into that manifestation that you have been desiring for some time, and really stepping into a place of creative power, entrepreneurship, passion, love, just more genuinely being yourself. And you also are going to be finding that there are people who can work with you, who can work alongside you to help you to create those dreams. Whether these are romantic partners, business partners, co-workers, other creators, whatever that case is, that's going to help you to stand in this true nine, king of wands, sorry, king of wands energy. Don't give up on the goals and the dreams that you have for yourself. And remember why you're going after the things that you desire. What about those things brings you joy, makes you happy, allows you to live your best life, right? The energy of this is, if I can let go, let's do it like this. So if I can let go of what does not serve me, what's holding me back in some ways, begin to tread towards the goals I have for myself, change my perspective on where my future is heading, I will attain this nine of pentacles energy, this beautiful, abundant, happy energy of being within your own space and achieving your wildest dreams while also having the right people around you who can help you to build and help you to grow. This is an area of your life where you will need the help and assistance of others. And I don't think that you're too, you know, too proud to say that. You are moving into an energy where your abundance is attached to the things that you love. And some of those things are people, jobs, careers, especially for those of you who are creators. This, this king of wands is literally the entrepreneur king. Not to say all of you here watching today are entrepreneurs, but is there a skill? Is there something that you can do? That could allow you to step into this energy if not. It's all really beautiful energy for you. I just want you to actually see what it is that needs to come to an end. Because that, that keeps coming up in today's reading is when you let go. Even down to that uh, nine, of, nine of Swords energy here. Letting go of these stresses and anxieties makes room for the blessings. You have to ask yourself, what is it that's holding you back? So we're going to go ahead and pull some Oracle for you. I haven't used this deck before, but I wanted to. It's called the Cupid's Arrow Oracle, but it's not a love reading type of deck. What do we have for Aquarius Spirit? We're going to pull. Let's do four cards for you. For my dear Aquarius. You have success. Patience, <laughs> resolving issues, and last one, celebration. Ah, that's that four of wands energy. But at the bottom, we're going to start here, sacrifice. In order for you to get the success, to resolve those issues, to celebrate, what is it that you have to sacrifice? It says giving up something now for a future reward. What is it, Aquarius, that you need to let go of to allow more to pour into your life? Success. It says, it's your time to shine success from what you pour your heart into. That is that King of Wands energy, very heart-centric. And that King of Cups, knowing who you are at your core. You will breed success. You will reap reward. Because of the sacrifices that you made, but you must also have patience because your manifestations are on the way. I feel like there might be like, oh, I've just been trying to manifest this forever and it's just not coming through. It's going to come through. It's going to come through. 
Resolving issues says solving inner conflict with others and healing past trauma. So if you have any issues, like especially that seven of swords that we saw here where there might have been someone who hurt you or tricked you or went behind your back or something of that nature, you need to solve the, the inner conflicts. This could also be you finally getting in touch with your inner child because you solve whatever that hurt was. But it will help you to manifest because I feel like a lot of your manifestations right now are being affected by some deeper wounds that maybe you haven't even addressed with your own self lately. Celebration is here. It says good times come from hard work, the time spent and good company. So there's people who love you, who want to celebrate with you, who are on the same page as you, the same frequency as you, and you will celebrate the success again after some sacrifice, but you will celebrate this success with the people that you love because good times come from that hard work. That's that Knight of Pentacles, the slow and steady wins the race night, right? And we're going to go ahead and pull three cards from this deck and we'll wrap this up for you, my dear Aquarius. What do you have for them, spirit? It says, be open. That's too many. But I'll show you. We have, be open. Two more for Aquarius. Have courage. Oh, sorry, Aquarius. <laughs> Spirit's like, here you go. No, we're not going to take all those, though. messing up my flow no I'm kidding all right so we have be open courage and our last one is gonna be oh it's making us work it said I wanted to reshuffle those for you there we go Keep going. So right now you have to be open to the opportunities that are trying to present themselves to you. As difficult as it might be sometimes, there is this need for you to trust that all is not being told to you. There is a little bit of gray area because spirit wants us to understand that things are steadily being worked out. Your spirit team is trying to get things in order for you and you need to be open to the rate at which they happen. It says to have courage. So even when you have just a little flame, just a little inspiration, just a little bit of a spark, run with that. Have hope. Don't be fearful. Trust yourself even. And spirit says keep going. So we have two cards that show the globe and then we got the world card. So there is a big transformation. Some of you are definitely moving. Some of you are definitely going somewhere internationally or you are connecting with people internationally, but there is this, this uh, desire that Spirit has for you to like look where you are, but to understand that there's a lot of vastness of the world around you, and that Spirit wants you to keep going and keep trying, focusing on the good, and trusting the process, truthfully. So I hope, Aquarius, that this message resonated with you. I hope it helped you in any way possible. And don't worry about those manifestations that are taking a little bit of time to come through. They will come through and just the perfect and divine time that they need to. So I'm wishing you all the best. Make sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe if you feel called. And I will see you guys very soon with another reading. Bye Aquarius.